Hello everyone, this is Pragya Pandey from Rao's Academy for Competitive Exams Bhopal and this is our special series on daily news review. In our previous video, I asked few questions, so let's see their solution first. So first question was, which is the first state and country to start the MBBS course in Hindi language? And correct answer for this question is Madhya Pradesh. Next question was, which country will host 90th General Assembly of Interpol? And correct answer for this question is India. Without wasting any time, let's see what is in the news. Interpol is not playing any role in curbing state-sponsored terrorism, says Secretary General. We all should remember that the 90th Interpol General Assembly is being held in New Delhi, which is going to October 18 That will bring together chiefs of police and senior officials from around the world to address global security issues. The International Criminal Police organization is focused primarily on ordinary law crimes, says a stock Interpol Secretary General Jugrin Stock. Said the International Criminal Police Organization was not playing any role in curbing state sponsored terrorism and that is focused primarily on ordinary law crimes. He further added that Interpol is going against child abuse rapists, murderers, drug, drug dealers, cyber crimes, who wants to make billions of money, that is the Interpol's focus. He further added that these are the majority of crime that occurs around the world, that is why Interpol exists. Interpol has compiled the first global crime trend report. Interpol has developed its global stop payment mechanism, the anti-money laundering rapid response protocol which in the last 10 months alone has helped the member countries recover more than 60 million USD in criminal proceeds from cyber-enabled frauds. Isi ke saath aap yahaan par yaad rakh sakte hai ki recently India uh, se CBI na Interpol ka initiative hai that is ICSE which stands for International Child Sexual Exploitation Initiative usko join kiya hai under which the ICSE database uses video and image comparison to analyze the child sex exploitation material and make connection between the victim, abusers and places. The image and video database are intelligence and investigative tool which allows a specialized investigator to share various data on cases of child sexual abuse. This database sharing ka result is that in September 2022, if you remember, CBI has 59 locations in 21 states and union territories from the child sexual abuse material that was circulated in the market and it was suspended under the operation Meg Chakra, which you can remember. Along with that, you should also remember that Central Bureau of Investigation recently launched the Operation Garuna. That is a multi-phase operation with the help of Narcotics Control Bureau and Interpol to dismantle drug network with international linkages. So moving on to the next news. The India-Africa Defence Dialogue and the Indian Ocean Region plus Conclave will see India pitching its military hardware to various countries. The broad theme of the dialogue will be based on India-Africa adopting a strategy for synergizing and strengthening defence and security cooperation. Earlier, the first ever Indian-African Defence Minister Conclave was held in Lucknow, Uttar Pradesh in conjunction with Defence Expo on February 6, 2020. Further, a joint declaration that is also known as Lucknow Declaration was adopted at the end of the conclave as an outcome document. Also, the Defence Expo 2022 will be for the first time exclusively dedicated to showcase Made in India Mackey products. By this event, the Minister of Defence will also be organised to promote investment in defence sector in the country, both by the Indian industries as well as foreign original equipments manufacturers. The event will showcase the requirement of the armed forces and policy reforms undertaken by the government of India for ease of doing business in defence sector. Also, we should remember that Indo-African relationships are guided by the Kampala principles. Those are enunciated by Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi in 2018. If we talk about the principles of Kampala, the first principle is the inclusive country ownership. Principle 2 talks about the result and target impact. 
principle 3 talks about the inclusive partnership whereas principle 4 talks about the transparency and accountability and principle 5th talks about the leaves no one behind. So moving on to the next news. UNDP ki nai report ke anusar Bharat mein 15 saal mein 41.5 crore log garibi se bahar a chuke hain. As many as 41.5 crore people exited poverty in India during the 15 year periods that was between 2005 and 6 and 2019-21. Out of which two third exited in the first 10 years and one third in the next 5 years according to the global multidimensional poverty index. This report is produced by the United Nations Development Program and the Oxford Poverty and Human Development Initiative that is also known as OPHI. So basically this uh, MPI is based on the idea that poverty ki jab hum baat karte hain to yeh akeli uh, unidimensional nahi honi chahiye like se fis ka relation income se nahi hona chahiye but when we talk about poverty it should be multidimensional that also include several basic needs like education, health, etc. So conclusively we can say that this index shows the proportion of poor people and the average number of deprivations each poor person experience at the same time. So when we talk about global multidimensional poverty index basically it works on three dimension few indicators. This dimension is health, education and standard of living. Whereas if we talk about the context of health, the first indicator that is nutrition. It says that any adult, uh, we are talking about nutrition, so it says any adult under the age of 70 years or any child for whom there is nutritional information is undernourished. Whereas child mortality says any child under the age of 18 years has died in the family in the five years period preceding the survey. Next dimension is education, which is the first indicator of years in schooling. So years of schooling talks about no household member age, school entrance age plus six years older than completed at least six years of schooling. Whereas school attendance talks about any school age child is not attending school up to the age at which he or she would complete class 8. Next dimension is standard of living. Just mein sabse pehle aata hai, pehla indicator cooking fuel. Cooking fuel ki agar hum baat kare, to the household cooks with dark wood, charcoal or coal, usko is category mein dala jayega. Next is sanitation. The household sanitation facility is not improved. Jo bhi sustainable development goal ki guidelines hai according to that. Next is drinking water. The household does not have access to improved drinking water again as uh, sustainable development goals ki kuch uh, certain criteria agar ye usme fulfill nahi karte hain to drinking water ki categories mein inko number kam diye jate hain next is electricity that whether the household has electricity or not next is housing housing talks about that at least one of the three housing material jaise chhat diware ya floor are inadequate like the floor is of natural material or the roof or the wall of the natural or rudimentary material jaise uh, mitti se koi uh, diwar bana deta hai khappar laga deta hai is tarike se next is asset the household does not own more than one of these assets like tv radio television computer animal cart bicycle motorcycle refrigerator or car or a truck usko is category mein dala jata hai. Along with that, you should also remember that the global MPI complements the international $1.90 a day poverty rate which was revised by the World Bank last month up to $2.15 per day. Or agar iske niche kisi ko wages diye ja rahe hai, to that will consider under the poverty. So moving on to the next news that the Gujarat Biotechnology Research Center has recently detected the first case of the Omicron sub-variant BF.7 in India. 
Omicron BF7 is the latest sub-variant of Omicron variant that was first detected in northwest China's Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region. It is also known as the Omicron spawn. This new variant is fast spreading to several other countries including the United States, UK, Australia and Belgium. Being a sub-variant of Omicron BA5, BF7 reportedly has enhanced immunity evasion in comparison to its parental strains which means that the people who have been infected before or have taken the COVID-19 vaccination can also get infected with BF7. The symptoms associated with BF7 subvariant is also similar to the other subvariants of Omicron. It includes headache, persistent cough, change in sense of smell, chest pain, hearing loss or shaking, abdominal pain, diarrhea, runny nose, sore throat and fatigue. Railway Minister inaugurates India's first aluminium freight rake in Odisha. Hindalka launched India's first all aluminium freight rail rakes in order to help fast track the country's ambitious plan to modernizing freight transportation and enable large carbon saving for Indian railways. These aluminium made rakes are 180 ton lighter than existing steel rakes. They can also carry 5 to 10 percent more road and consume less energy. So it's time to become cool and first news is Honorable President appointed Dr. Justice D.Y. Chandrachur as the 50th Chief Justice of India with effect from 9th November 2022. Wolf Warrior Diplomacy, it is a term that gained popularity especially after Xi Jinping became president. Wolf Warrior Diplomacy is a tactic of the Chinese government to extend its ideology beyond China and counter the West and defend itself. It is an unofficial term for more aggressive and confrontational style of communication that Chinese diplomats have taken to in the last decades. The Union Environment Minister in association with the UNDP has been implementing Secure Himalaya project to conserve the habitats of snow leopards. Next, Sri Lanka recently asked India to translocate six Indian visions or gods to reintroduce them in the island after three centuries. Next, India wins Women Asia Cup 2022, defeating Sri Lanka. India won their seventh Asia Cup. Next and last in the news, the government of India has launched Pradhan Mantri Bharatiya Jan Urvarak Pariyojana, that is One Nation, One Fertilizer, in which all the companies will market the subsidized fertilizer under a single brand known as Bharat. So this is it for today. Join our batches for UPSC and PPSC civil services examination. Seats are very limited. So hurry up. Thank you for watching this video. Do not forget to hit like button, comment your valuable feedback and also press the subscribe button to never miss any update. Please follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Links are given below in the description box. Thank you and see you tomorrow.